Hello guys. Today uh, we're going to talk about uh, religion and why why should we even bother to to study about religion and about the Bible? Maybe you know some people who know me before even thinking that. Why is Ishmael doing it, you know, why, why he suddenly started doing it, you know, um, he started preaching online. Um, uh, and trying all this stuff that he's doing, you know, making a, making a website, making a Facebook page, making videos, trying to uh, share all these things to the people. Um, why, why spend so much effort? Why spend uh, time, effort, money just to do all of this? Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, let's, let's analyze things. Uh, our life. And the truth about it. About our life. All of us, look, all of us, we were born. We were born once uh, by our mother. And as time goes by, years pass by, we grow old. We try to educate ourselves with the best that we can, we can have. We try to experience the best that we can experience, explore everything in this life. But, um, as we all know, life is not perfect. Uh, we will not be here forever. All of us, every human being that's, that's been born, will uh, need to face a cycle of life being born, uh, being an adolescent, being a teenager, being an adult, and then facing old age and inevitably uh, facing death. That's the reality of life. No matter who you are, no matter, no matter how rich you are, no matter what you have accomplished in this world, we're all the same. We are going to face death. And that's the, that's the very big proof that uh, that's, the, that's the very big proof that we are not really in control of our life you know um, maybe we are we are in control in our life in the sense that um, we can decide what we will become but inevitably we will die because that is the law that God gave that, that God gave to us. That is his decision. So every human being has no power over it. Because that is God's decision for us not to live forever, for us to die. And so as what I've been saying also to some people that close to me, this is the this is the very proof that uh, we don't own our lives. We uh, we were just born um, to do the best that we can do, of to be the best that we can become, and ultimately we'll face that. So here is where uh, religion became important. Here is where the Bible became important because in all my years in life I'm, I'm I'm already 38 you know in all my years of life in searching in experimenting in reading all the books in studying many religions reading their books I've I've never encountered a book that promised what the Bible is promising, eternal life, 
you know after this life if you will if you will pass everything if you will do what's written there what god is saying there after all of this even after that uh, there's another life waiting for you and so that that changes things you know that changes things life uh, life is not life is not just this anymore just our life you know just a couple of years of our life no it changes everything god is offering eternal life with him so the bible is saying after all of this after all of this uh it will be renewed everything will be renewed uh god is promising a place much more beautiful than this earth uh, with all the richness and that all the richness and everything that human is trying to pursue in this world for them to have and achieve everything is in there uh, a, a promise of a very beautiful eternal life in a very very beautiful place so that, that's the promise that you can read in the bible that's why in all my life of searching in all my life of studies in all my life of reading i was amazed and stuck with this book which is called the holy bible and the amazing thing about this book is that I have tested its contents. I've tested it in my life. Whenever I try to violate it, whenever I try to violate the things written there, I get punished. Something's happening to my life. Something's wrong, you know. My life becomes harder. Um, sometimes um, I've encountered accidents, you know, pain, sickness, uh, bad luck, everything. Lost, lost in income, lost in financial. But whenever I follow the things written there in the Holy Bible, whenever I followed it, my life became so blessed. My life became wonderful. My life became peaceful. All the promises that God says there, a happy, peaceful life and um, a prosperous life, it all came true. It will all come true. It all came true in my life. So, I tried to, uh, to falsify this book, the Holy Bible. I can't. It didn't work out. It's like all the law written there, all the rules of God written there, of who are Jesus Christ is calling the Father, His Father, our Father, all His words written there, is very accurately happening in my life that's why whenever some people is saying even in uh, some comments to my video even on the groups that uh, I joined and been invited in Facebook big groups religious groups whenever some people is saying that he's an atheist he doesn't believe in God and that the Bible is just a storybook that God created, uh, that, that, that some people created, you know, the Bible is just, it's just, they're saying that the Bible is just a storybook that some people invented and created. I cannot believe them. And I will not believe them. And I cannot believe them because I experience it in my life. I experience it. I experience the truth. 
that's why it's so difficult for me to turn my back on it my life uh, i know that if i will turn my back on it to the things that written in it i know that i will end up with the curses that's written in it but if i will do what is right and if i will follow the commandments of god written there god our creator if i will follow all the commandments of god written there i'm 100 percent sure that my life will be blessed god will guide me and not only that that i will inherit all the promises of god that's written there uh, that's why me as long as i'm not doing anything wrong i'm not violating anything that's written in the bible i'm not afraid of anything not nothing i'm at peace so that is the reality that is the reality of our life as human as human beings as the creations of god as, as written in genesis the first book of the bible all of this law is uh, tied to us it's tied to our life all the laws of god we cannot escape it no we cannot escape it if it's said that if you are like this if you are like this if you're like this you will not be saved it, it it will come true if it's if it's said there in the book that if you will follow this follow this you will live like this you will be blessed and you will you will inherit the eternal kingdom it will come true it will come true because these are the words of god our creator the one who created us the one who created this world that we are living on right now this beautiful earth all the things that people enjoyed and and treasure and explored in this world the nature the ocean um the living things in it the beautiful animals the beautiful people us humans everything that we enjoyed and encountered in this world is created by god our creator which our lord jesus christ is saying the father his father and our father the only true god so uh, this is what uh, I'm sharing to you and this is the things that we should believe in this life. There's nothing else in this world. No one else will offer you, will offer you a, a, a brighter eternal future than God and the laws of the things that are written in the holy scriptures so so to those maybe some kids are listening to me or some teenagers or some people who haven't tried yet to read this book i am encouraging you to reading it to read it start from genesis read it whenever you have time read it Try to analyze it carefully and, and you will see, you will see that this book works with your life, with your everyday life. I'm, uh, I'm sharing you this as a, as a person, as a, pe as, a per as, a pe as a, as a person like you. Um, as a person who wanted the best for humanity, for our species, as humans. Thank you very much. May, may God bless you all.